Although physicians are most familiar with the pernicious role that mast cells play in allergic reactions, mast cells are also part of the innate immune system. As compared with the adaptive immune system, the innate immune system is thought to be evolutionarily older, and its cells mount a more generic response to pathogens in defending the host from infection. Mast cells are widely distributed in human tissues. Large numbers are found at points of contact between the body and the outside world, such as the skin and the mucous membranes of the respiratory and gastrointestinal tracts. Mast cells express toll-like receptors that recognize common bacterial antigens and initiate the release of cytokines that quickly recruit neutrophils and other immune cells to the sites of bacterial invasion. Mast cells become activated when IgE antibodies bind to receptors on the cell surfaces. Cross-linking occurs when multivalent antigens bind to adjacent IgE antibody receptor complexes. Degranulation is initiated when storage granules within the cell release preformed inflammatory mediators such as histamine, proteoglycans, and the proteases tryptase and chymase. Mast cell degranulation may underlie both harmful allergic reactions and beneficial immune responses to parasites. Histamine release from mast cells leads to relaxation of vascular smooth muscle and vasodilatation. Endothelial cells contract to expose basement membrane, leading to increased vascular permeability and tissue edema. Histamine promotes mucus secretion from goblet cells. After the release of mucin granules from goblet cells, the mucin may expand several hundredfold in size. The binding of histamine to H1 receptors on the smooth muscle of the airways and intestines leads to bronchoconstriction and increased gastrointestinal motility. Tryptase and chymase break down proteins in the extracellular matrix and in basement membranes. The resulting increase in epithelial permeability and lubrication and in muscular contractility may help to expel pathogens, including helminths and other parasites, from the intestine and the airways. This entire cascade of events has been nicknamed the weep and sweep response.